Okay, in this video, let's take a look at how to uh, use the Photoshop plugin for Runway. So if you go to runwayml.com slash integrations, um, this page has a bunch of different uh, materials for integrating with either applications or um, some coding languages so that you can have uh, your application talk to Runway and back and forth. Um, I won't cover some of these other ones down here, but I will say like if you're interested in P5.js, I have a bunch of videos for that. Um, if you're a processing person, there's some code here, Touch Designer, Pure Data, Max MSP. So other things here, if you're interested in this, um, we're going to look at the Photoshop plugin. So the first thing you're going to want to do, <clears throat> I recommend you have the both Photoshop and Runway uh, quit before you start this. Um, but you're just going to come over here, you're going to hit Install Package. It's going to take you to this GitHub page. Um, you're welcome to read through this. I'll walk us through how this works. Uh, first thing you want to do is just download the plugin, so click this link. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to open up your terminal command. So um, let's just open up terminal here. Of course it doesn't work that way. Um, so in terminal, you're just going to come up here, you're going to copy this line of code. Um, if you're on the Mac, if you're on Windows, uh, use this. Um, on Mac, you're just going to paste in this line. You probably won't get a response back, um, but that just means it's set um, some commands to do some debugging and that sort of thing. Um, next thing you need to do is install the plugin. So we've downloaded the plugin here. It is a zip file. If I double click on this, it's just going to open it. It'll say Runway ML. And uh, this tells you where you need to install it. So if you're on a Windows, you're going to install it here. Um, so I'm on a Mac, I'm going to install it here. Now one note about this. This location um, is under your home folder and then library. If you've never messed with the terminal or anything, you likely actually won't see this uh, because it's a hidden a hidden folder. Um, I recommend that you just sort of Google like um, show hidden files Mac and there will be <clears throat> a command here that says how to do this. So it looks like you can just hit command shift dot and that will show your folders. Yeah, uh, open finder and then hit command shift dot. Um, I have mine set to always do this because uh, when you're working with code, there's a lot of examples of this that you need to be doing. Um, so we're just going to go over here, we're going to hit uh, my home screen, and then we're going to, um, where are we going? Library? Yes, we're going to the library. Um, don't be like me kids and have millions of files. There's library, and then we're going to go to application support, and then Adobe. And so the next thing you might run into, and I ran into this when I was doing this, these two folders don't exist sometimes, so you actually have to make them. So uh, in this case, I don't see a CEP, so we're going to make a new folder, I'm going to hit CEP, and then I'm going to make another folder and then call it extensions. And then we're just going to move in that file. So that was in downloads, run my ML. So I'm just going to drag this into this folder here. And now I've installed this. This is everything we need to do, I believe, at this point. Um, so now what we want to do is we're just going to start up Macintosh, or Macintosh. We're going to start up Photoshop. While we're doing this, I'm also you actually have to runway, have runway running. Um, now you don't actually need to set up any models. You don't need to run a model uh, in runway. So it's not like P5.js where you're trying to run a model and talk to it. Um, you're actually just going to run this from Photoshop uh, and it'll start up the model in the background and it'll do all the processing and it'll bring a photo back into Photoshop for you. Um, so now I've got Photoshop open. If I go to Windows and I go to Extensions, I'll now see a runway ML file in here. So let's take a look at how to use this. Um, cancel that for now. Um, so let me just open a file here. So let's go to open. Actually, let me just go to my desktop and grab an image. Let's use this. So we'll just grab this image here, bring it into Photoshop. Um, and now one thing to notice is that, let's take a look at the size of this thing. So it's not huge. This is probably fine. Um, if you do send a really, really large image to uh, runway, it does have the potential of like throwing an error or something. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our extensions folder. So we're going to open up runway here. And now it's, um, you've got an option here of like searching for a model, right? So there's no running models. We've got a model search here. Um, so let's see, what do we want to run this with? So let's run this with um, Big Bygan. So basically we're going to send this image to runway. Uh, runway is then going to spit back the like closest approximation it can find inside of BigGAN. Um, so let's hit this. Let's do run and generate. And you'll see here there's an input image of background, right? 
So it is grabbing this background layer and that is what it's sending to the model. Um, so when you go to models, oh, I just hit stop all models by accident there. Um, let's hit run and generate. So don't click this button, click this one up here. This is stop, this is to look at your model. So um, this is basically saying that the model is starting. So it's gonna run uh, some stuff in the background. Now again, if you go to runway, and you want to see like, hey, what's going on? It doesn't really tell you. So just be aware that like, everything that you're trying to do is happening in this panel. So the model's still starting. Um, remember that like, these, this is a little slow to, to get this stuff started. Cool, so now, um, one thing I found that doesn't, you would think it would just immediately work, but for whatever reason it doesn't, you have to click regenerate here. So click regenerate. Cool. So what happened here? Um, so basically it sent the background layer to uh, the model and the model sent the image back and it added it as a new layer and it names it big by GAN output image, whatever. Um, now, the other thing to note is that Big Bygan produces 256 by 256 pixel images. So that's all you got back, right? Like it didn't scale, it didn't do anything else. <clears throat> the other thing to know about Big Bygan is that it takes rectangular images and squishes them to square. So well, all it did is it took this image, it squished it down, and then it sent it to runway, and then it came back with this image, right? So this is the Big Bygan approximation of this image. Um, let's stop this model, and let's look at another model here real quick. So let's actually send this layer um, to a different model. So let's look at... So let's actually send it to ESRGAN. So that'll bring that'll then give me a larger size image, right? So we'll click on this. Um, we'll click Run and Generate. So you'll see here now the image is set to Big by GAN. So now it's set to this layer, right? If I switch and click here, it's going to set it to this layer. So your layers matter, right? It's sending a single layer at a time. Um, so if you want to send multiple layers, you should probably um, flatten your image or uh, merge layers. We'll select this image, and we'll hit Run and Generate. And we'll come back up here, and we'll look at Running Image. And again, the model's working, but it didn't, it, you always have to click regenerate to get actually the image back. So see what happens here. Cool, so now I got a much larger image back. Um, and the thing about ESR GAN is it's not perfect upresing, but it is better than nothing. Um, so now this image is much larger, right? Um, and I could even take this and uh, do a like squish transform, um, and I get back an image that looks like this. So that's the basics of the Photoshop plugin. Now there's a lot more you could do here, right? You could paint your own image segments um, in Photoshop, send it to Spade Coco or another Spade model, and get back the layers of it. Um, you have to make sure the colors track right, but you could do it. Um, there's a lot of opportunities here, and you'll see this is like pretty clean and pretty straightforward. So it's not like you have to save images down in Photoshop and then open them in Finder and then drag them into Runway. It's a little, it saves you a little bit of time, um, which is important for stuff like this. Like you want to like feel like you're in the flow of your own work. Um, so that's the Photoshop plugin for Runway. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunities for this to get better, um, and I hope they, they improve it in the future. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, drop me a note in our um, YouTube channel or uh, join me on Slack and ask there. Um, thanks.